Richard Feynman was a Nobel Prize winning US theoretical physicist. He was known as the great explainer for his ability to explain complex scientific topics in an easy to understand manner to both scientists and the general public alike. Feynman developed his own personal method of deeply understanding and internalizing complex topics today known as the Feynman technique. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to apply this technique to learning technical things. Now, a common mistake that I notice beginners making is that they'll follow an online course, which isn't a bad thing in and of itself. We're actually very lucky to have these resources made available to us for free. But where they go wrong is, after completion of said course, they assume that they've actually picked up whatever skill that the course was on. For example, if a beginner takes a Python course and sees it through to completion, they often find themselves not knowing what to do next. Because in their mind, they've completed the Python course, now they know Python, but at the same time, they haven't yet smashed the like button. And they don't yet have enough knowledge to apply what they've learned to building something from the ground up on their own. That's because completing a course on Python doesn't necessarily mean that you know Python. In fact, if you apply the Feynman technique to the topic that you've just learned in said course, you will actually realize that there are many gaps in your understanding. So how do you apply the Feynman technique to a technical topic? So let's imagine that we've just finished a tutorial on how to write a hello world program in Python. So by the end of the course, we're left with this code and the understanding that running the file that contains this code will output hello world to our standard output. The thing is, usually when somebody teaches hello world, they don't really teach much aside from what the print function does. And this type of thing is common for technical learning resources. You're essentially taught pretty much the bare minimum, but the bare minimum doesn't give you a complete understanding. So this is where it's your responsibility to go and fill in the gaps. Now you're probably wondering, how do I find these gaps? Well, I'm going to show you. So let's just keep track of where we're at currently in the Feynman technique. So we've completed the first step. We've studied a topic by finishing the Hello World tutorial that we imagined that we finished. And we also hinted towards step three, because I mentioned that it's your responsibility to fill in the gaps in your knowledge. So at this point, it's pretty obvious that step two is how you're going to find the gaps that you're going to fill in in step three. Now, if you've ever attempted to teach or explain something to somebody, you've probably noticed that it's very difficult to do if you don't have a complete understanding of what it is you're trying to teach or explain. For example, if we were to show somebody this code and try to explain to them how it works, based on the tutorial that we just watched, we'd probably only be able to explain as far as what the print function is doing. So what you want to do is get out a pen and some paper or a note-taking app and title the page, Things I Don't Know. And then on the second half of the page, you want to add the title, Topic Explanation. And what you're going to do is, you're going to try and type out an explanation of what this code is doing under the Topic Explanation section. And when you hit a point where you don't know what's happening, you want to add that to the list of things that you don't know above. For example, maybe we don't know what this if name equals main part is doing. So we'll add that to the list of things that we don't know. At this point, the list called things I don't know are the gaps in your understanding. So the next step, step three, is to fill in the gaps. So now you have some focus points that you can go study. So that's what you do in step three. You go and study those focus points and fill in the gaps. And under each thing that you don't know, you want to write out an explanation of what each thing is once you've learned it. Now this can go one of two ways. You'll either be able to write out the explanation of each thing that you don't know completely, or you'll find yourself in another instance of the below overall topic explanation, where you again find sub gaps in your understanding of the parent gaps. And in this case, parent gaps are the original gaps and sub gaps are children of those original gaps. Like essentially you find more gaps when you're trying to explain one of the initial gaps. In that case, you want to add those sub gaps to this same list and repeat the process until you can clearly write out an explanation for every point in your things I don't know list. 
Once you're done, we move on to step four, which is organize and simplify. So basically in this step, you want to merge all of your explanations from the above points with your overall explanation in a logical order. And then you want to remove all fluff and most importantly, you want to simplify all of the sentences. So if you have a super technical sentence, rewrite it in a super simple way that even a child can understand. And at the end, what you're left with is a complete and simple explanation of what you've learned. And the great thing about this is, you can always come back to these notes if you need to brush up on something that you've learned. And it'll be very easy to brush up because you will just need to read this simple explanation that you've created and everything will just click back into place. So that's how you learn technical things using the Feynman technique. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to connect, feel free to join the Discord and I'll see you in the next one.